All right, friends. Welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in the previous video, I showed you how to set up this project using manual and automated technique. And we set up this project, but if I click on users, we get this error call call to member function to format a date or null. So in this video, I will show you how we can fix this error using null safe operator, which was introduced on PHP 8. Uh, also, we will see how to use non collation operator as well. So let's get started. So first of all, let me go to list users.blade.psp file. So list users.blade.psp and while calling that method over here, we are calling the true formatted date. We are getting this error because currently created a date is null. So first of all, let me show you how we can fix this without using null safe operator. So for that we can simply use conditional so we can do if there is a user with the created it did then we'll be calling that method user created it and then we'll calling the two formatted that function right and we can do and if and I can remove this now if I refresh the page will not be getting that issue right but I will show you how we can fix this using null safe operator so for null safe operator we can simply add a question mark over here so question mark and this is a null safe operator question mark and then error so what this does is if there is created a date available then it will be calling this method otherwise it will not call that method and it will return null okay so now if I save this and refresh the page, we'll not be getting that issue. So remember that this was introduced on PHP 8. So currently I'm using PHP 8.0.8 .8 version. So make sure you are using the PHP 8 version to use this operator. Okay. So now let me show you how we can use null collation operator as well. So here if the created date date is not available, then it will not be calling this method. So here currently we are not seeing anything. So what if we want to see, display some string like not available or unknown. Okay. So to do that we can simply use non collation operator and this operator was introduced on PHP 7. So for that operator we can simply add two question mark over here. So if this is evaluated as null then we'll, we'll be showing this message which we have written over here. So for now let me add n slash a for not available okay and if i refresh the page we'll be seeing this default string or default message so null collation operator is also useful in such cases right so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one